Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back to another recipe video. First off, I want to thank you guys for 200,000 subscribers. This is freaking amazing. And also if you haven't subscribed, make sure you subscribe. But today we are making an oil to milk cleanser. An oil to milk cleanser is actually an oil-based product that emulsifies and turns milky when it comes into contact with water. And these are great to use before your traditional facial cleanser to help remove any dirt or makeup on the skin before cleansing. And it just does a better job at removing all of that stuff. And it's actually much more gentle and mild on your skin as opposed to traditional facial cleansers since they don't strip your skin of its natural oils. So here's the formula I'm gonna be using. And if you aren't familiar with formulas, you should go watch my video that I link down below that explains how to transfer a formula into a recipe. And I'll link down below to a lot of other videos that I think are great for beginners. So I'm gonna be making a 200 gram batch and I'm starting with phase A. The first ingredient I'm gonna be using is caprolic capric triglyceride. This is going to take up more than 90% of the product and I'm choosing this ingredient because it's extremely lightweight, it's clear, it's odorless, and it's extremely non-greasy compared to other traditional oils like olive oil, sunflower oil, any other carrier oil. You can use those oils if you want, but the product may feel more greasy and heavy, and that's why I'm using this ingredient to create a more lightweight feeling. And I used 184 grams of it. Then next, I'm gonna be adding in some Optifin. So I actually found a lot of mixed information on if I actually need a preservative for a water and oil emulsion. A water and oil emulsion is an emulsion that contains a small amount of water in a lot of oil, which is what I'm creating here in this video. I decided to just go ahead and add a preservative just to be safe. If you have any information on that, comment down below and cite your sources. And I added in one gram of the Optifin and then just mixed it into the triglyceride. And then I set that to the side and I'm grabbing a, another beaker to work on phase B. So the first ingredient for phase B is polyglycerol 3 oleate. This is an oil soluble emulsifier and it transforms oils into a creamy milky consistency. So this is one of the key ingredients to make our oil a milky cleanser. And I added in six grams. Another ingredient I decided to add in is 11300. This is a super fatting agent and I think this actually really helps create that milky consistency as well. The polyglycerol 3 oleate says it can do it on its own, but I think adding the 11300 in with it produced a much better creamy consistency. So if you don't have this ingredient, I don't think it's necessary, but you'll get better results using it. And I added in six grams of it. Then I'm gonna add in some vitamin E. This is a powerful antioxidant and it actually helps oils uh, stay fresh longer, but it's not a preservative. So I like to use it in really any product that has oil in it. And I added in one gram. Then I'm gonna be adding in some oat extract. This is a water soluble extract. So you can use whatever water soluble extract you would like. I just chose this one because it's clear and I was going for a clear look with this product. And it's also great for sensitive skin and that is me. And I added in two grams and I just mixed everything together. So now we can go ahead and just grab both of our phases and take them over to our overhead stirrer. This is actually my older overhead stirrer and you guys might be wondering why I'm not using my new overhead stirrer. I recently posted a video about it. Um, it's because it's too big for this uh, beaker. So I'm gonna use my old one since it's better for smaller products. So go ahead and make sure your stirrer head is submerged into your phase A and you wanna go ahead and turn it on and create a vortex. You don't need an overhead stir for this to work, but it just makes things easier. And then you just want to slowly pour phase B into phase A and let it mix just for a little bit in between each pour. And I just like to incorporate a little bit at a time just to make sure everything gets mixed in and there's no separation. And I even like to pick up the beaker and mix it all the way through to the bottom, to the top. And then once I have all of phase B into phase A, I actually like to pull phase A off of the propeller and then pour it into phase B to get all that debris on the sides of the beaker since it's hard to get all of that. And then I just pour it back into the home base <laughs> and then just mix it one more time. And that's it, That that's all you gotta do. I went ahead and covered mine because I was ready to go home and I, didn't, I did not wanna finish recording this video today but you don't have to let your sit overnight, but that's just what I did. So the next day, it literally looks the same. That's why you don't need to let it sit. 
go ahead and grab your bottle. I chose this four ounce glass bottle with a pump cap. I think this is the best way to package the product. You could do it however you want, but this is a really thin and liquidy product. So I really don't know how else you would package it. And there you go. That's your oil to milk cleanser. It's really freaking easy to make. You just gotta make sure you have the right ingredients. And um, I do plan on making a cleansing balm soon. I'm still playing around with the formula, but I'll share that when I can. So all you gotta do is pump a couple pumps, add in some water, and then just rub together, and there you go, now it's all milky. But I'll show you guys how I use it on my face. You just wanna start with damp hands, and then I use like one to two pumps, massage it in between my hands for a little bit, and then start massaging it into my face. And that's it. And this stuff is wonderful at getting off makeup, waterproof makeup. I don't have any on in this clip, um, but uh, it's great at it. I promise. I just didn't feel like putting makeup on this day. <laughs> Anyways, uh, that's how you use it. That's how it's done. That's how it's made. Hope you guys enjoyed. And let me know how you enjoyed this video. And by the way, you guys should go check out my Patreon because I post two exclusive videos on there every month. And a blog version of every video I post with a PDF file you can actually download and print out. But yeah, I'll talk to you guys later. Thanks so much for watching. Someone to listen